Hi, my name is Bill Bouchard and I'm a search engine optimization consultant with Mannix Marketing. Today we're going to take a look at uh, two Grease Monkey scripts that work pretty well with Firefox and they integrate to provide uh, real-time Twitter search results along with Google results all displayed on the same page. The two scripts are very similar but I'm going to show you how to set them both up and you can decide which one you know is better for you. And if you can't read any of the links that are in this video, um, just go to blog.manixmarketing.com and I'm going to post links along with a video so that you can just you know, click on them and it'll be easier to get to these places. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is install the Grease Monkey Firefox add-on. And you can get to that just by going to Google and typing in Grease Monkey Firefox add-ons. And click on that. And you're going to add it to Firefox. I've already got it installed on my computer, so I'm going to cancel out. But you just go ahead and click Install Now. And then once it's loaded, it'll probably reboot Firefox and you'll be all set. OK, so let's get started with the first tool. Uh, this one is located on facesearch.com and to install it you basically install the Grease Monkey add-on which we already did and then click on Google Twitter, Twitter integration script and again I've already installed it but I'll install it again because I don't think it really matters now I'm going to cancel out of that so it's pretty easy. You just once you've installed the add-on, just click on the integration script, install that. Nothing's really going to happen. You're not going to really see anything spectacular, um, but it did install. Um, I'll get into how this works after. Well, we can scroll down and take a look at the screenshot. Um, the first screenshot here shows a uh, search on football. And it's already been installed because you can tell it's got the, the Twitter link right here. Um, but it doesn't display it right away. That's one of the differences between the other tool. Um, so when you, when you click on the Twitter, next you'll get the real-time results of who's talking about football at any given moment. And that's pretty cool. And I like the fact that you can toggle it on or off. Um, with that and not just have it always on. All right, the next the next tool is uh, again it's very similar and it's on userscripts.org. You'll find the the link on our blog blog.manixmarketing.com and it's pretty easy to install. You're just going to click on install and it will same thing. The grease monkey window will pop up and you're going to click on install and nothing major is going to happen but it did work and they've got a screenshot of this as well they put an Apple event and do a search with it on and it returns the five most recent Twitters on it uh, the other tool what's different about that one as well is that it, it displays ten results and this one only displays five um, and you can search more by clicking on the Twitter results and it'll take you right to the, the search.twitter.com um, so again they're, they're pretty similar but it's kinda neat to have it all on the same search page so let's let's kinda take a look at this in action here first thing you gotta make sure of is that your search monkey the grease monkey script is on so you just gray is off colors on and yours will probably are already be enabled uh, and I'm, I'm not sure if one will overwrite the other so let's go to manage the user scripts what you should probably do is enable one and disable the other we're gonna enable the first one and close that out so what I did there is I went to tools Grease Monkey, 
manage user scripts pops that up you can see the two scripts that have been installed you just click on one you see this one's not enabled and if we wanted to we just click enable it this one has been enabled and we should be all set with this one all right so i'm going to type in let's type in seo and see what's going on okay so like i said it just displays the the most recent Twitter is about SEO or that have the word SEO in it and below that you get your regular Google results on SEO and if you want to see more you click on this link and it'll take you right to the Twitter search page now let's turn that one off manage user scripts we're gonna click to not enable that and we're going to enable the next one. Close that. And let's look up, oh, I don't know. Let's look up some kind of recipe. Let's see what's going on. OK, so here um, it shows you the regular Google results, but then it popped up the, the Twitter little link and I'm assuming that if there is no talk about martini recipes or any other subject that it, the link won't pop up so we just click on that and lo and behold there are people talking about it and I've already been on this as you can see and I clicked on this that talks about a bacon martini which sounds pretty crazy so that's it. I mean, there are some differences, um, but you just kind of have to play around with it and figure out which one you like best. And that's it. If you have any questions, um, you can email me at bill at And That's me. This is our website, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.